welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Gonna make a fantastic grilled cheese sandwich today. I've got some Gouda cheese here, which is really cut in a really thin way. If your cheese is too thick, it's just not gonna melt nicely. I've got here some eggplant or aubergine, which I've cut and grilled. I'll show you how that was done in a moment. Two slices of bread, just make sure that they're the same size. You know, sometimes your loaf of bread curves or whatever, they're not exactly the same. You need them to be the same. Here you go. I've got some butter there, which is nice and soft, and I'm gonna brush my butter on. You don't have to, you can spread it on entirely up to you. Let's get moving. So as you can see, I've got a pan here with some olive oil in. And I've got my eggplant here, which I've cut about centimetre thickness. We're just gonna drop these in, turn them over after about two to three minutes, they'll be fine. So you've seen how I've made the aubergines, or the eggplant. And I've started already, I've done this one already. I'm just gonna generously brush on my butter. Just make sure that all of the surface is done. Like I say, you can, if you want, spread this on with a knife. I just find this a bit easier. It gives it a nice coat as well. I don't miss anything. That is so simple. I'm now gonna go on with a little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much. Just a little touch there. Then what we're going to do, we need to turn these over. This is actually what we're going to fry. So you're going to turn them over now. Just dab a little bit more butter there, but not too much. Then we're going to go with some cheese. A roasted eggplant, one more piece of cheese. Touch of salt and pepper, more pepper than salt, and then pop that there. So we've now got our sandwich ready. The heavily or nicely buttered side, as you can see, is facing up. That's what's going to make it go golden brown. So we're going to need a pan here, a non stick pan is always best, of course. And the secret now is we don't want this really, really hot. We're kind of low and slow on this, really. Otherwise it will just burn really quickly on the outside and our cheese won't melt. So simply let's pop her in. So I'm not on a simmer, just above a simmer. So let's just wait for a couple of minutes there. Then we're going to flip her over, press down. It's going to be wonderful. Okay, that was just like two minutes or so. Let's give it a little press down. Now what we need to do is check the other side by flipping it over. There you go, fantastic, look at that. So we're gonna do like another minute with that side down. We're gonna keep pressing it all the time. And then what I'm gonna do is flip it two or three times until our cheese melts. See you in a moment. And there we go, that's come together really beautifully. Flip this over a few times. This is absolutely wonderful. That's coming straight out and that's ready to eat. That is delicious. And there we go. That is really crispy. That cheese has melted so nicely. It's absolutely delicious. It's lovely and crunchy. Listen, let's have a little taste. Really, really good. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.